I told the boys directly after the game, we won up to most hard fought 3 0, I ever saw. Um, we had to give absolutely everything to, to win this game. We scored three times after set pieces, which shows already that Crystal Palace obviously defended pretty well. The frustration is um, coming to Hanfield and uh, conceding uh, three goals on the set pieces. This is uh, one part of the game that we need to improve. Um, we know how good they were on the open play. And, um, and we tried to make it really difficult for them. We had a couple of chances. Um, we didn't take it, and, um, and they scored those three goals. I think I'm just lucky to score all, all the time against Crystal Palace. And uh, I did it today, but uh, for me, the more important was the three point, and I'm very happy for it. I want to say thank you for all, of, all the fans and the club, the staff, and uh, the players. Without them, I'm nothing. So, again, I'm happy and I'm proud. Yeah, 100 goals uh, for Mane, a tenth of them against uh, Crystal Palace, yeah. Yeah, indeed. Uh, both managers referred uh, to the fact that all the goals came from, from set pieces, uh, Jermaine. You've mm. had a look at them. Yeah, well, it was a tight game, a really tight game. I think, you know, Liverpool haven't played in Champions League midweek, made a couple of changes. There was no Robertson today, there was no Trent Alexander-Arnold. And, you know, Canate comes in for his debut as well. There was always going to be kind of that element to Palace mm. feeling confident after the result again last, you know, against Spurs last week. So the set pieces were key. And, you know, from Liverpool's point of view, it was absolutely brilliant to get the three goals. And I've had a look at the first one and they set it up to perfection. You know, Simicast, there's the signal, two hands up. This is the space he wants to hit. MacArthur, is get, he gets kind of blocked by his own players. The run from Salah is absolutely spot on. And it's just that bit of space that is created. And in moments like this game, it was so key just to kind of get that confidence going. But Martin's looked at it from a Crystal Palace point of view. Well, MacArthur's gone off now at this point. Rudeveld, he's picking up Salah as well. And you just look at his body shape. And the minute, I mean, this is a situation here. You've got there's four Palace players. Pop one of them out into this sort of space. Always a danger area, that. He could have rescued it if that was the shape. Rudeveld then just completely switches off. And as soon as you show your opponent your number, as he does there, look at him. He's got no idea where Salah is. He's Boy, one of them... He's one of the most <laughs> prolific strikers in world football. He's just a tap-in. And this one, again, Rudeveld, I don't know what his job is again, so let's clearly define his role in the team. Mm. Is he on the edge of the box? No, he isn't. I mean, that's a wonderful strike. Yeah, it is. But Rudeveld, again, he's not in position. 44 and, uh, again. Yeah, mm -hmm. number 44, we can see that number. And, uh, there he is again, 44. Outstanding finish from Liverpool once more. Mm. But Patrick would be really disappointed yeah. Yeah. that they haven't got that right at set pieces. Since the start of last season, uh, Liverpool have scored more goals uh, from corners than uh, any other team, quite considerably mm. so uh, as well. Set pieces are uh, effective. Yeah. Um, one of the reasons that is probably Trent Alexander-Arnold. He wasn't available today. Yeah. In his place was James Milner. Yeah. And this guy just defies father time, doesn't he? It's uh, it's remarkable, you know, and it's you know a testament to the you know the way that he's looked after himself that he can just come into these types of games and and perform the way he does. The you know a lot gets said about James's you know work ethic and the way he looks after himself, but the quality that it provides from that right hand side, lovely ball he put into into the box there, solid, you know, down that right hand side as well. You know, Zaha was brilliant last week against yeah. Spurs. Um, you have Emerson Royal, an absolute torrid. Yeah. He didn't get a kick today against James Milner. And, you know, from James's point of view, the way he adapts to playing left back, right back, midfield, you know, seamlessly was, was clear today. It's another leader that, that they had on the pitch. And I think in moments like games against Palace, mm. the mentality that he has and that constant kind of, you know, the, the grit, determination, the quality that he brings and that, that mindset is what gets Liverpool kind of over the line in these tough moments. And these are the stats from today. That's extraordinary. I mean, first, you know, touches, passes, it crosses, you name it, but sprints and distance covered. I know. You know, it is... It defies it, belief. It really does. I read know. that for a minute there as 109 kilometres. <laughs> it wouldn't <laughs> surprise me. Not 10.93, <laughs> but um, he, he, just, he just keeps no, he, going, yeah, doesn't he? Remarkable uh, professional, great player. Uh,